Okay, so we, here we are representing the Young Adult Ministry. Um, so you can see our acronym is YAM, not to confuse with the two. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we just wanted to talk about who uh, is part of our ministry. Um, all young adults are welcomed, uh, and that can be anywhere from college age, so post high school, 18 years old, to someone who's in their mid-20s, early 30s, and we have no specifications. If you're single or married, you're welcome to join us as long as you're in that area. And our, our ministry is just to build um, bonds and other things within that group of people as we're going out into the world in a specific uh, season of our lives. Um, this is a photo of us from the Foundry Conference a couple years ago. Um, so our, this is just our mission statement for our ministry. Our goal is to allow young adults to connect with one another and to the church body, offer biblical instruction and discipleship that promotes spiritual growth, provide opportunities for service, and provide various outlets for fellowship amongst young adults. So we have these four areas where we want to grow our, our young adults in connection with each other, with the church, um, being fed into, uh, but also pouring out in service and in fellowship with one another. So how we do that is uh, through our Friday night meetings, and on the first and third Fridays, we will meet at um, someone from the church, their home, we'll have corporate lessons, we have a curriculum we're going through, which we'll explain in a little bit. Uh, the second Fridays will usually be a game or a movie night, and then the, third, the fourth or fifth Friday will be uh, just unofficial, people can get together how they want. And then we also um, are together through prayer, corporate, and then individually as well. So one of the areas that we talked about before, discipleship. So the way we do that is we have um, lessons usually. So the first and third Friday will be a lesson out of a curriculum. So what we've done in the past, we've done Purity Principles, which is a book by Randy Alcorn. Uh, we went through that. We did a study in that and looking how to be pure as a young adult and uh, looking at uh, evaluating and examining relationships. Uh, we did examining worldviews, and uh, recently this past fall, we looked a little bit about applying biblical principles to politics and how to vote and be an engaged citizen, but also be doing that biblically. So right now what we're doing is our study is in evangelism, um, and so that's, that's the study we're going through right now. And then another way that we're being fed into is the Foundry Conference, which I will talk more about later. So this is the curriculum that we use. Um, it's from Grace uh, Church out in California, uh, John MacArthur's church. Um, so they've composed this curriculum that we, we're going through right now. Um, you can't see it too, too well, but there are memory cards where it helps us learn how to share the gospel with people, certain verses that we can use in a general outline, and then also there's just uh, literature which we go through and we fill in blanks and understand a little bit more about that process. So that's one. That's the study we're going through right now. Uh, and then this is just a picture from the Foundry Conference. Um, as you can see, someone said something funny, but apparently Dwayne and Cleef didn't find it. So another way that we uh, gather together and that we um, are involved uh, in YAM is that we have some time for stewardship and service. Uh, so these are some of the examples that we've done that, um, whether it's at the Sweetheart Social, which we had in February, um, uh, the Canal Fest, which is kind of like a community um, uh, fair where table, uh, organizations, organizations can come out and have their tables and spread information about who they are. So that's what we do. That's in October. We have Operation Christmas Child, which many people from here have also participated in. Uh, and then also just individually uh, as members of other ministries here at church or helping people out where they need help. So this is an uh, example of how we served at We Are Social, setting up decorations. This is us at the Canal Fest. Usually we hand out tracks. We um, have water bottles and other ways we can uh, approach people and just tell them about Christ and about our church here. And then this is us at 
Operation Christmas Child at a packing party, so we were able to pack boxes and send them to children in other countries who may not get Christmas gifts or holiday gifts. Cracker House competition. Yeah. Um, so that group one, they did a Noah's Ark, which was quite impressive. If I can say so myself. Um, and group two, I don't know what, what was it from? Um, it was something. <laughs> um, so how can you help? So ways you can help. Um, just in the ministry in general, we always use praying for us and just providing um, homes for you know, our fellowship times. We have the Christmas party at the Duguayas' house. We have these are lessons at the Bivos or the Muller, so those are always huge blessings for us. Um, we do have uh, new formats, so just pray for the transition and the logistics in that. Um, and then just providing opportunities for us to serve you even more. Uh, for example, babysitting, you know, if you have young children, we can definitely do that, yard work, projects around the house, helping people move. Um, and then one of the biggest ways is actually what Kayla's talking about. Yeah, so one of the biggest ways that you can help uh, with our ministry is to help us grow our ministry. So inviting other people who are in the church, young adults, or people that you know uh, outside the church even. And that's something that I can talk about because I actually started coming to Yam before I started coming to Calvary. Um, Joe invited me out, and so I started coming. Uh, and I enjoyed it a lot, and I got to know a lot of people, and I was growing spiritually, and that was one of the things that actually drove me to evaluating um, a church that would also facilitate that same growth. Um, but for a while, for about a year, uh, I was going to him and being fed that way uh, before I actually even started coming to Calvary. So that's a huge blessing of this ministry, is that it's not only for those in the church, but it's also outreach to young adults in the community. So one of the other things we wanted to talk about uh, is the Foundry Conference, which is coming up. So uh, it will be in, in your bulletin. There is a sheet that has more details on it. Um, but it's going to be Friday, June 9th to Sunday, June 11th. Uh, and that's down in Springfield, Virginia at Emanuel Bible Church. Jesse Johnson is the preaching pastor there. He is uh, one of the Cripplegate writers. Uh, he attended Master's Seminary. Uh, and there's going to be other speakers. One of them is Mike Riccardi, which most of us are familiar with, and Jordan Stanrich, who is also a pastor down there. And Eric Davis is the fourth speaker. He also writes for Triple D. Um, so the theme this year is 500 years. So it's examining some of the teaching, some of the major theological issues um, that came out in the Reformation and Martin Luther's 95 Theses, uh, and looking at that teaching. So. It's ideally for those between 13 and 30, um, but on the website they've told us that it can be a little beyond that margin because of uh, it being 500 years, it's really applicable to anyone. Um, so we're going to start registration for that, um, and I'm going to be organizing that. So after the service today, we're gonna have a table set up over here uh, where you can actually register. We'll have a computer set up so you can register for that today. Uh, before you leave. Uh, and if you
you have any other questions about that, you can definitely come see me, see Felice, see Julie, um, but I'll be kind of organizing that. So uh, if you have any questions, concerns, want more information, things like that, you can come see me. The registration is $40 for the conference, and that'll give you not only attendance, but they'll give you a $20 gift card to their bookstore for you to get some of the materials that support what they're teaching at the conference, and they provide lunch on Saturday <coughs> during the conference. Um, so you have to figure in also a hotel, which will will um, organize and gas, food, things like that. But generally, I think it's been uh, definitely under $250 um, for, for the whole conference, everything included. Uh, probably, if depending on how you do food and things, it could be cheaper than that, too. So, um, And if that's an issue, you feel free to talk to me, too, because we can organize something with that. Um, that's all we have. So I'm going to leave this up because it has more of the information and also has my contact information. And then at the end, we'll have the table set up there. If you want to see, um, talk to us either about the conference or Young Adults Ministry in general, if you're not interested in the conference but still want more information on the Young Adults Ministry, um, we'll have an email sign up so you can put down your email. That way, you can be on the mailing list.